Well, good morning friends. Hope you're having a lovely day today. I just finished up with my morning routine and right now I'm really just gearing up to have a bit of a get it all done type of day. And this is something that I like to do about once a month towards the end of the month normally is just to basically spend a day doing all of the life admin types of activities that just need to be done so I can stay on top of life in general as well as to do some of the like smaller, kind of tiny tasks that I've been putting off for far too long. And the whole idea behind this is basically just to dedicate a day or an afternoon to just checking as many things off of my to-do list as possible. So that's what we're in for today. It's going to be a busy one, but a really productive one. So to fuel me up, I've got some cold brew coffee, got my hair in a bun because I always feel a little bit more productive when I have my hair up. And what I'm going to do now is basically just write out a list of everything that I want to accomplish today. Normally what I like to do is just use the little section in my bullet journal to write out my tasks for the day, but we have a lot today. So I think what I'm going to do is just use a dedicated page in my bullet journal, write out everything that I want to accomplish, and then we can start ticking things off one by one. So right now I'm going to take a moment to put the list of things that I want to do onto paper and I might sip on my coffee a little bit while I do that. And then once I have that all ready to go, I'll walk you guys through it and we can get started tackling things one by one. Okay, so I've got everything written down here. We've got a lot that I want to accomplish. Let me walk you through it. I've got an 11 a.m. meeting that's probably going to be about half an hour long. I want to empty out my inbox because there is no better feeling than just knowing that there are no emails that you need to respond to. I want to water my plants and I added plus care because I need to add some soil to a few of the pots I know. I want to book our plane tickets for a trip that we're going on in March. I want to set up my bullet journal for February because right now I am at the end of the month so I need to set that up. I want to get a frame for a painting that Christopher painted actually over Christmas and I really want to be able to hang that up in our home so I need to buy a frame for that. I want to put some linens that we have from Christmas in the attic. I washed them and just forgot to put them away with all of the rest of our Christmas decorations. I also want to clean the mirror in our bedroom because it is gross right now. Same thing goes for our bathroom. And then finally, I want to make a healthy snack option. And for the healthy snack option, I think what I want to make is probably something like a banana chocolate chip energy ball. I've been trying to eat a lot more healthily in the past month. And overall, it's been going really well, but probably the one area where I've been struggling with that most is kind of when it comes to snacks. My default is often to kind of eat somewhat less than healthy snacks, except for fruit. I do eat a lot of fruit, but I want to have some kind of a little bit more substantial snack option that's still going to be good for me, still going to be nutritious, but it's something that I can just really easily grab and eat and that there isn't a lot of kind of preparation in the moment involved with it. So I'm thinking some kind of energy ball would be a great option for that. And I'd love just to take the time today to be able to make those. But that's it, that's the list and what I want to accomplish today. And I definitely say it's an ambitious amount of things. There's a lot that I want to get done, but I think that if we kind of eliminate distractions, we're focused, it's definitely doable. So I'm thinking I'm going to start with my computer work first so I can kind of get that out of the way and then just work on some of the more, I don't wanna say fun projects, but the more hands-on projects throughout the rest of the day. So I'm going to clear my inbox now. I've got my meeting in a little bit. So we're going to do that first and then we can continue on with the rest of the list. All right, well, the meeting went well. My inbox is empty, so I've got all of the computer work out of the way. Actually, I probably am going to need to take out my computer again when I go to book my plane ticket, but that's a little bit more fun. I at least love planning and booking travel, so not dreading that one, where with emails, I do sometimes kind of dread emails. But next, what I want to do is to go around my house and to do some serious plant care. It's been a little bit too long since I last watered my plants, and I want to make sure that all of those get a good, healthy watering. But then also, I've noticed that there are several plants that I have recently that kind of look like they're needing a little bit of a replenishment of soil. So for those plants, I want to bring those all over here to my island so that I can just give them 
them a little bit of extra care. I bought some, it's called Good Dirt at the store the other day. And so I just want to replenish their soil and make sure that they're all healthy and cared for properly. So let me grab my watering can now and we can water all of our plants. And then for the ones that I want to add some additional soil to, we'll bring those out here. Got my fancy gold watering can ready to go. Let's do this. Give you some water. So I've got all my plants watered, but now I've brought three plants over to the kitchen that have all been suffering in one way or another from either a lack of good soil or enough soil. So I've got a little Palea plant here. It literally just needs more soil and you can tell it's not healthy because when I try to water it, it just drains right through, which means we just need to add more better soil to it. The same thing goes for the string of pearls that I have. This guy probably should have also been watered more frequently than I have been doing lately. So need to get better at that. But also I think that getting some more absorbent soil in there is really going to help. And then I have my elephant ear plant here, which you can tell there's not enough soil in it. So it's literally just leaning to one side. It's not looking healthy. And I'm hoping that some new soil, some good watering, is really going to help it thrive. So we've got like a new leaf coming in, so there is some growth, but it just needs some love. So I've just got this big bag of dirt right here and that's what we're going to use. And it's great because it's actually intentionally designed for house plants. So that means that it's going to have the nutrients in it that is really going to help these plants be able to thrive. And I'm thinking we can start with the Palea plant and work our way kind of from smallest to largest adding the soil to them, watering them so that hopefully they can thrive. Also for the Palea plant and the string of pearls in particular, because I've had them in these small containers for quite a while, I do want to try repotting them into something slightly larger so that they just have a little bit of room to expand. And as I do this, I'm just going to pop on some music to listen to. I think I'm going to listen to this playlist that has Novo More, Hollow Coves, and a few other bands that I really like. So I'm going to listen to this while I get to work. Well, I definitely say that was a success. I feel like all of our plants are looking a lot healthier now, and hopefully now that we've added soil to each of them, they really will be able to do a lot better because pretty much all of them were looking a little bit worse for wear. Particularly happy with how this little Palea plant came out. I love this little white pot that I put it in. I feel like it really does kind of pop inside of it. But now I'm just going to clean up the mess that I made. There's kind of dirt everywhere on the island at the moment. Put these plants back in their homes and then we can consult our list to figure out what's next. Just checked off my little care for plants box and that felt really good. Honestly, adding soil to those plants is something that I've been needing to do honestly for probably like six plus months at this point. So it feels really good to finally have that done. Just crossed off my list so I don't need to worry about it anymore. But now what's next on our list is to book the plane ticket. And those tickets are going to be for a trip that we're wanting to take at the beginning of March with a couple of friends to go to Orlando. We'll spend a few days in Disney, a day in Universal, and I think a few days just enjoying the area too. It's always kind of like gloomy and rainy and cold in Charlotte in March. So I'm hoping that by going to Florida where it's a little bit warmer, a bit sunnier, that'll be a really nice change and probably a much needed one. I am getting a bit hungry though. So I think that before I book the tickets, I'm going to take a moment, just make myself some quick lunch and then maybe I can enjoy my lunch while I book the tickets. And normally I do try to take a bit more of an extended break while I eat but I'm feeling really productive right now. I feel like I'm on a roll, so I think that we can make an exception today and I can work while I eat. So long as I take like a five minute break somewhere in there, we'll be good. And I don't know if you all saw the used up challenge that I did last week, but I'm currently down to my last two rice cakes. So I'm going to have those as a part of my lunch so we can finish off this bag. And 
yeah, I'm almost at the end of all the things that I said that I wanted to use up, which I'm really excited about. So this is, yeah, two of the final handful of things. We're almost at the end. And I'm just really excited about that. So here's our lunch. I just put some almond butter, dried coconut, and strawberries on top of the rice cakes, and they look so good. I also love the little pinwheel design. I think that's so fun. And then I also peeled a couple of clementines that I can have with that, and then I also got some water. And I've got my computer back out, so I'm just going to sit down and enjoy this while I book our tickets. Well, lunch was delicious and our plane tickets are booked. And honestly, that's another one that just feels so good to get off my plate because we've been talking about going on this trip for quite a while now, honestly, a couple of months. But I feel like no trip ever really feels real to me until I've actually booked our accommodations and booked our plane tickets. So really excited about that. I think that's going to be such a fun trip. I've had people tell me for years that Disney is really cool to be able to experience and to go to as an adult. And I went several times when I was a teenager. Christopher went like once and it rained the entire time he was at Disney. He was like at Magic Kingdom for one day and that was his full experience of Disney World. So I think it's going to be really fun to be able to go as adults, we have a couple friends who are going to be joining us. And yeah, I think it's going to be a, a fun time. I wouldn't consider myself like a, a Disney adult by any stretch, but there is definitely something about Disney that really is just very like nostalgic. So I love that, really excited for the trip and glad I was able to book those tickets. But now I'm going to kind of deviate from the order that I've kind of, I've been going down my list, just ticking all the boxes in order. But now what I want to do is to bring all of our linens that need to go into the attic. I want to go ahead and do that quickly. I think it's only gonna take like two minutes. All I need to do is pop them up there. It just feels like a hassle to open up our attic and like get the ladder down, all of that. Also, I'm short, so that makes it harder. I might enlist Christopher's help with this one. But I'm going to do that just to get that out of the way quickly. And then I'm probably going to make myself a tea and then work on my bullet journal. I want to set that up for February so I can be good to go as the new month begins. Thank you. Thanks. So right here, we've got kind of our Christmas leftovers. These were the things that, as I was putting away our Christmas decorations, I just kind of forgot to include. So we've got some candy canes, a candle, and then just a few linens. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly pop these in the attic so I can just get another one of those quick things ticked off my list. So here we go, welcome to the extensive storage in our attic. Lighting in here is terrible, but we just like to keep a few things up here so that we don't need to keep everything in the garage. So I just popped all of our linens, candy canes, and the candle in here. Going to pop the lid onto this, and we can just leave it up here until next Christmas. Well, that's another to-do checked off my list, but now I want to make a tea and just spend some like enjoyable, relaxing time setting up my bullet journal for the new month. And of course, I will film some bits of how I'm setting up my bullet journal for February, but if you do want to see kind of like the more detailed, complete version of how I set up my bullet journal, I'll go ahead and link in the description box below to my bullet journal video, and that kind of walks through in depth exactly how I set it up. I am planning to do pretty much an identical version version of what I did for January though. It's a system that I found that really works well for me. So here's a little preview, but now let's go ahead and set it up for February. Okay, let me fill this in really quick, but just finished setting up our bullet journal for February. Let me flip you through really quickly. So you've just got our main page, a section for events, a section for notes, a section for goals, and then I have some daily spreads, 
laid out for each day of the month and this is kind of where I can basically just track what I'm trying to accomplish on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm glad we've got that all set up now. We're ready for the new month, but now what I want to do is to head over to Target and to buy a picture frame for the picture Christopher painted over the Christmas break. And I feel like Target will probably be a pretty good place to go. They have some nice, simple frames. So I need to take the measurements for that and then we can head over to Target, pick one out. And then while I am at Target, I think there might be a few ingredients that I need for the energy bowls that I want to make. And then also a few ingredients for dinner because we're going to be having some friends over for dinner later tonight. So let's go ahead and grab those measurements. And then I also want to change because I'm wearing leggings and very comfy clothes right now, which don't get me wrong, I love, but I feel like I should dress up a little bit, put on some hard pants for when we have friends over tonight. So I'm going to do that and then we can head out the door. And here's the picture Christopher painted. It's from our trip to Ia Santorini. And this was one of my favorite, just kind of spots that we came across while we were in Santorini. I absolutely love it. And I feel like it's a very like fresh, simple, but very beautiful picture. That's going to look amazing right over there on that wall, kind of tying into our kitchen. So let's go ahead and get some measurements of this painting. It looks like it's gonna be eight inches by 10 inches. So that should be a, a pretty easy frame size to find because I feel like that's a pretty standard size. Okay, so here's the outfit that I just changed into. Actually, do you know what? This mirror is really, really dirty. So it's actually on my list. So what I'm going to do, give me two seconds. Let me go ahead and wipe this down. Then I'll show you what I'm wearing. Well, this looks so much better. I feel like you can actually see yourself in the mirror now, which is a good thing. I feel like cleaning my mirror is one of those things that I definitely let go undone for far too long, more often than I care to admit, but it's done now. It looks great. Now quickly, I wanted to walk you through my outfit. For my sweater, I just have on my Everlane alpaca sweater. Super comfortable and just one of those wardrobe staples that I'm always wearing during the winter. Then I have a light wash trucker jacket on because it is a little bit chilly out today. I have some black bootcut jeans. These are super comfortable. And I love the fact that I have a raw edge hem to them. And then for my boots, I have my Nisolo Chelsea boots. They're again, one of those winter staples for me. I feel like they go with everything and they're super comfortable. You can walk a long ways in them. So yeah, just one of those great winter wardrobe basics. So that's my outfit, super simple but I like it. Also, how cute is this guy in his new little home? I love it, just kind of perched on the windowsill. All right, well, I've got my list, got my bag. Let's head off to the store. Just got back from the store and I was able to get my picture frame. I ended up going with this nice like light wood one that I figured would work really well with kind of the blue tones of the painting. I think the other options were black and like white. And I just figured that this would add just like a little bit more texture, a little bit more color to it. And this is also a color that we've used a few other times in the living room too. So that also just brings this specific wood color kind of into the kitchen space as well. So what I'm going to do now is take out the glass and then also the mat from this. That way there's nothing kind of like pressing against the painting since it is an oil, it's quite textured. And so I'll just remove those and then slide the painting in. And then probably when Christopher gets back from the gym, I'll ask him to hang it up. Okay, so I do really like how this turned out. I definitely like the frame. I think that gives it a much more like finished and completed look. But part of me is wondering if black might not look better as a frame color for this. I feel like it might just go a little bit better. Let's see here. It would go against this wall right here. I feel like black might actually make it pop a little bit more. I am also kind of wondering if this like wood tone kind of doesn't go with the like kind of redder hue that you have in the painting. I don't know, I'm having second thoughts. I'm a bit conflicted, so I'm probably not going to have Christopher hang this up just yet, even though 
it's going to go right here and it's gonna look so nice when we do actually hang it up but yeah just not sure about the color so let me know in the comments below what you guys think and yeah i want to maybe switch the frame out to black now though we are coming down to the last few things on our list so what i want to do next is take some time to clean our master bathroom because it really needs it right now and then i want to probably make dinner while i make our healthy snacks for the future so kind of the last few things we want to wrap them up and then i want to get ready so that we can have our company over tonight so let's head over to the bathroom now and give it some love So the bathroom is looking just a million times better. Honestly, it just really, really needed a good clean. And I ended up doing the counters and the toilet and then Christopher stepped in to help me with the shower, which I was super thankful for. Neither of us really enjoy cleaning the bathroom. So it was nice that we were able to make it a bit of a team effort. But now I'm back in the kitchen because it's time for our final task from our list. So excited that we're almost done. I have the bananas with me and what I've decided to make for our healthy snack is some banana, peanut butter, and mini chocolate chip energy balls. So should be a really quick, a really fun recipe. So I'm going to whip that together then start making dinner. The recipe that I'm using is one that I found on Pinterest, but I am going to make a couple of modifications to it because I don't like chia seeds, which it includes, and flax meal is, again, not something that I'm hugely into taste and texture wise. So I'm going to omit those two. But then other than that, I am planning to follow this recipe. So I'm going to get up my ingredients and start making this. All right, well, we are just a few minutes away from our friends coming over. We've got dinner underway, but we did it. We finished everything on our list, and now we're just ready to enjoy a nice, relaxing dinner and evening with friends. So really feeling good about all that we accomplished. I always love doing these kind of get it all done types of days. You really do just feel so productive, and a lot of those like lingering things that just kind of get put off and kind of put on the back burner, just feels so nice to get those off the list. Now though, all that's left is to finish up the last couple of things with making dinner and to enjoy it. So I hope you guys all enjoyed coming along with me today. And as always, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already for more simple and intentional living videos coming at you twice a week. Thank you guys all so much for coming along with me today and for joining me though, and I'll see you in the next one.